Hello friends, in this session we will see phasor diagram with the variation of active power. I mean to say variation of active power in the sense variation of steam power input or hydro power input, water input. It can be any ways around. Okay, so let us start the video. <music> talking about as usual we will be considering an alternator as usual which we have seen earlier case as well correct yes so this will be you know kind of second case okay now what are we supposed to say see I am saying that this particular alternator is connected connected with infinite bus with infinite bus we have already seen this correct with infinite bus in the sense what happens is infinite bus has what voltage is constant which means vt is constant no vt is constant and also frequency is constant in case of infinite bus that is what we are trying to condition now next is what next i am saying is that let us assume that it is operating at it is operating at let us say lagging power factor Lagging power factor, and the third thing I would like to add is you know, steam power input, steam or water, steam or water. We have seen those, you know, steam or water input to be how, sir, to be nothing but what increase, or let us say to be varied. In our case, we will try to increase the power, we will increase it, no problem. Varying either you can decrease or you can increase, correct? No, so we will think of increasing the active power i am talking about active power remember this it is all about active power okay anyways and then the last one is what sir last one is what if the field current if you see we are only interested in variation of active power correct no which means what we can keep rest of the things to be constant so let me consider that my excitation of my field field current is let us say constant correct yes now let us see this meaning see when we say that the steam or water power input is varied or increased you know kind of it is active power only you know so whenever we are talking about power so we know that what is power power is given by what vt ia into cos phi yes or no sir yes sir vt ia into cos phi it is given like this no problem sir now from this we know that already we know that vt has to be constant by infinite bus correct or no yes now what are you interested in you are increasing the power or not yes you are increasing the power which means what vt is constant it's okay but if my lhs has to increase then what should happen rest of the things in the rhs has to also increase no yes or no which means what from this we can infer that ia cos phi has to increase yes or no please tell me ia cos phi has to increase this is very very important point ia cos phi has to increase then next let us see next is what we also know that the same power can be also written as what sir efvt by xs into sine delta correct no yes or no yes sir so if we say this that efvt by xs into sine delta we are saying correct we already know that this vt is constant correct no yes sir it is constant why infinite bus same logic now you please tell me what about this xs variable or constant definitely it is constant why because it is a machine constant correct no machine machine machines design will tell you what has to be the value of excess correct yes no problem sir now what has happened now your power has increased no yes sir if this power has increased which means what ef sine delta this term has to increase yes or no yes this has to increase rest are constant don't think about them so ef sine delta has to increase this is another important point that ef sine delta has to what increase ef sine delta has to increase no this is second now what is the third thing we need to understand third thing is that they have said that if is constant yes or no yes now you please tell me if if is constant what does that mean it means that if if is constant then definitely my field my ef emf induced because of this field is going to be constant no because why because if is itself constant so ef is going to be constant or not yes sir definitely ef is going to be constant now please focus here very important point 
if I say that EF has to be constant and here I am saying that EF sine delta has to increase this means what C which means what if EF I am keeping constant this means here also EF has to be constant yes sir so if EF has to constant which means what if sine delta has to increase sine delta has to increase when will it happen it will happen when delta is increased because we know that if delta increases then my sine function also increases no correct or not definitely yes sir which means what my delta has to increase now remember this point in your mind okay no problem let us move on now let us consider our vt yes sir, this is vt no problem no this is vt what are we saying we are saying that my it is operating at lagging perfect yes or no which means what definitely ia current has to what lag my vt so definitely let me consider that lagging current so this is ia let me consider ia1 okay yes sir, no problem now what about ef definitely how will that ef be see 90 degrees from ia how will be ia axis let us understand 90 degrees from ia moving from vt correct no so it has to be like this so 90 degrees from ia moving from vt so it should go somewhere like this this is 90 degrees from ia moving from vt correct no 90 degrees from ia moving from vt so definitely my ia axis will be like this yes or no this becomes what i am considering ia1 first case so ia1 axis this is nothing but ia1 axis yes or no sir yes sir now what is next vt plus ia1 axis gives you what it gives you delta it gives you ef correct no vt plus ia axis will give you this one which is ef correct or not yes sir vt plus ia. it gives us ef now what is this angle between vt and ef definitely it is delta or not yes sir, it is delta no problem let me consider delta one because it is our first one so this is the actual figure now what are we supposed to do we are going to also think of input power because see input power as well as output power has to be equal only now yes definitely input power and output power has to be equal ideal case scenario correct no problem sir now anyways let us think of my ef is same now you know that in order to increase these powers ia cos phi has to be increased ef sin delta has to be increased we will see those will get increased automatically only but my concern is my concern is let us consider increase of this delta why because we know that ef is kept constant because ef is kept constant and if you want to increase the power delta is the solution so let us increase the delta delta in the sense let us increase my delta to let us say delta 2 let us say this value let me increase my delta if i am increasing my delta what should happen ef should lead more no now remember this thing that what is that that my ef which is there the length of my ef is constant remember this remember that the length of this ef is constant so i am considering the constant length only and moving my ef with my delta because i am increasing the delta now such that my delta to let us say this value delta 2 for instance correct what will happen then let me keep ef to be constant let me keep ef to be constant and then take the same way so if i keep my ef to be constant and if i do this so i should get the ef somewhere here i should get my ef somewhere here note that the length of this ef phasor is constant correct yes now if my ef is here then we know that if ef is here then definitely difference between ef and this is it is vt only no between vt and ef we should definitely have what i axis only so now we are thinking about second case so definitely this is going to be ia2 axis delta 2 is angle between ef and vt ef has it changed no length is not changed but the angle between ef and vt is changed torque angle is changed in order to increase the power it has increased delta has increased correct 
yes sir no problem now let us think of third case let us think of third case for example if i increase my delta even more let us say here up till here if i increase let me call this a delta 3 what will happen then the same length i am taking the same length this is the same length what is this length this is nothing but ef only length is same length is same no other this can be thought of like a you know circle also you can think of this as a circle as well that you know everything is same correct yes this ef ef and ef all the three cases blue case ef red case ef orange case ef its length is constant remember this in your mind okay anyways don't think about it much now it's fine this is delta 3 now what is there between vt and ef ia axis so between ef and vt i will be having what ia 3 axis correct no between this i am going to have ia 3 axis yes or no yes sir ia 3 axis will be there now next now next if i increase my delta even more up to maximum value if i increase my delta even more up to maximum value what will be that value that will be 90 degrees only no? so if i increase my delta to delta 4 which is nothing but 90 degrees correct if i increase my delta even more so what will happen for the same ef i will get this way so the same ef length is same remember this length is going to be same please remember this now same ef is there and delta 4 is 90 degrees what is there between ef and vt definitely ia4 axis so let me consider ia4 axis between ef and vt i will be having ia4 axis as usual see there don't get scared it's okay you can see the video one more time it's fine no problem with it okay yes anyway so this becomes what this is nothing but ia4 axis correct yes sir it is ia4 axis now i am interested in where will be my ia2 ia3 and ia4 so where will be ia2 if ia2 axis is here if ia2 axis is here then 90 degrees to this 90 degrees lagging to this what should be there if ia axis what is ia axis ia axis is nothing but what voltage drop or not it is nothing but voltage or not yes and since axis is what inductor so we know that in case of inductor what happens is current lags voltage or not yes current lags voltage by how many degrees 90 degrees itself which means what definitely 90 degrees to this i should have ia2 so 90 degrees to my ia axis let me draw ia2 let me draw ia2 90 degrees to my ia axis so where will it be let me consider that my ia2 is here now what happens is you, you need to understand one thing see magnitude of ia2 will be more than magnitude of ia1 why because ia1 axis is less and ia2 axis is more since ia1 axis length is less ia2 axis length is more definitely ia2 also has to be more yes or no yes sir no problem so ia2 we have got now next is what next is our ia3 definitely 90 degrees 90 degrees to its phasor we will be having ia3 so let me consider ia3 to be here this is going to be ia3 you may ask me why sir more why length is more than ia2 why length of ia3 is more than ia2 why because definitely see no ia3 axis if you see magnitude length length of ia3 axis is more than ia2 axis that is the reason ia3 will be even more more than ia2 correct no yes now what is next next thing is what next thing is definitely ia4 how will it be let us see so ia4 which is there how is ia4 definitely 90 degrees to its ia4 axis 90 degrees to ia4 axis i will get ia4 so definitely ia4 will be somewhere here it will be even more this length will be even more so it becomes ia4 yes or no sir 
yes it becomes i4 length will be even more correct yes now we will understand one by one what is happening see first thing what should happen ia cos phi should increase or not yes sir if ia cos phi should increase what is ia cos phi let us understand see come here let me erase this this is of no use to us if you think of ia1 cos phi let us see where it goes if this is ia1 correct this is ia1 correct so ia1 cos phi will be this one or not yes see this angle is what between ia1 and vt angle is going to be phi1 or not yes so this is going to be ia1 cos of phi1 yes or no sir yes ia1 cos of phi1 correct no yes this is going to be cos component of this correct or not cos component or not yes because this is the same component which is here no same component so that same value this is ia1 cos phi what happens to ia2 cos phi definitely now ia2 cos phi ia2 cos phi this is ia2 ia2 is given so ia2 cos phi will be how correct see ia2 is given so this is going to be this length is going to be what ia2 cos phi cos phi 2 angle between vt and ia2 now again you know that angle between them is going to be zero degrees so don't think about it much if you check out here what has happened from ia1 to ia2 what has happened definitely ia1 cos phi if you check out ia cos phi has increased ia1 cos phi is only this much but ia2 cos phi 2 has increased even more correct or not similarly if you see for this orange which is ia3 so ia3 cos phi where will it be it will be like this so so this is going to be ia3 cos phi 3 if you see it has also increased yes or no yes sir it has also increased which means what definitely ia cos phi has increased this one is done now let us check same thing that ef sine delta has increased or not let us check that definitely if you see ef has to be constant we know but we are trying to find out for ef sine delta ef ef is constant does not mean that ef sine delta has to be constant because delta is also there no variable is there delta no that is the reason anyways let us think of ef sine delta how will the sine component of ef look see for the first one let me draw like this see first one what has happened this one this is going to be ef sine of delta one yes or no this length is going to be ef sine of delta one yes or no yes sine component now what is ef sine delta 2 ef sine delta 2 will be what ef sine delta 2 will be this see this one this is ef this is sine component of ef this is going to be ef sine delta 2 again if you think of the third case orange ef is constant but ef sine delta components are increasing then this is third one ef sine delta 3 component this is this ef sine delta 3 component yes or no this whole orange from here to vt this is going to be ef sine delta 3 what has happened from ef sine delta 1 is small ef sine delta 2 is more ef sine delta 3 is even more yes or no which means what definitely ef sine delta has also increased problem solved correct so this is the way we can you know try to understand the stuff anyways that is fine what is next let us think of what is ef cos delta why because if you think of reactive power reactive power let me consider this q q output what is reactive power sir? reactive power formula what is that it is nothing but vt by xs into what ef into cos delta same thing which we had done earlier ef into cos delta minus vt now this is since it is for alternate rate is q output yes or no means if this term ef cos delta minus vt if it turns out to be positive what does that mean it is going to deliver reactive power or not deliver q correct for a positive value if it comes out to be zero then it is what neither same old story neither deliver nor neither deliver nor absorb correct no and 
negative if this turns out to be negative this ef cos delta minus vt term if it turns out to be negative then what will happen it is going to absorb power absorb reactive power q correct already we have discussed about it correct earlier as well this is the whole story now let us understand whether ef cos delta where it is and how it is and how we can compare and understand what is over excitation under excitation in this one if you understand if it is positive which means what it is going to supply q or not yes deliver q if it is going to deliver q deliver reactive power we know that over excited synchronous machine delivers reactive power yes or no then we can call that to be over excited if it is neither absorbing nor zero which means reactive power is neither been delivered nor been absorbed in such a case it is going to be normal excitation and in this case last case whenever synchronous machine absorbs reactive power it means what it is going to be under excited yes or no yes sir no problem so th this is the story which we have seen earlier as well now see see here let us think of blue case first ef if you think of ef cos delta where will that be ef cos delta if you see ef cos delta i'll show you where it see ef cos of delta 1 to be very precise for this blue this one will be ef cos of delta this one will be what this whole thing ef cos of delta 1 correct turn it now if you see length of ef cos of delta 1 is this much which is given this way from here to down completely correct and this vt if you see ef cos of delta 1 is more vt is less yes or no which means what which means what for the first case for the first case when ef cos of delta 1 what has happened in that case ef cos of delta 1 delta 1 is greater than what vt if it is greater than vt then what should happen your reactive power should become positive yes or no if it is turning out to be positive which means what it is going to deliver reactive power deliver q correct which means it is over excited it is over excited correct or not which means what this one this ef this blue is nothing but over excitation correct or not yes sir over excitation now if you think of red 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 if you see ef cos delta 2 let me consider this red ef cos delta 2 will be here see this is going to be ef cos of delta 2 this thing this is going to be ef cos of delta 2 if you see now ef cos of delta 2 and this vt how are they equal or not yes if ef cos of delta and vt are equal see here see, yeah, second guess ef cos of delta 2 ef cos of delta 2 is equal to vt if it is equal to vt what will happen here ef cos of delta 2 is equal to vt which means ef cos of delta minus vt will turn out to be zero if it is turn out to be zero which means what neither deliver reactive power nor absorb reactive power which means what it is going to be normal excitation yes or no this is going to be normal excitation so so if you check out this particular red Red case is nothing but what? Normal excitation. Now, let us think of orange case. What is happening? In case of orange, if you see EF cos delta, EF cos delta will be where? Here. This is EF cos delta. EF cos delta 3. If you see, EF cos delta 3 is only this much, but VT is big. VT is more, EF cos delta 3 is less. So I can say that EF cos of delta 3 is less than VT, correct? Where, where in case of EF cos of delta 3, this is happening, correct? What does this indicate? If EF cos of delta 3 is less, VT is more, which means what? Their addition is going to come negative. If it is going to come negative, which means what? Q is absorbed or delivered? Q is absorbed. If it is absorbed, then we say what? Under or over? under excitation so this is going to be under excitation correct no yes so this is under excited yes or no please tell me yes or no yes sir it is under excited only so let me just write it down here so this is going to be under excited yes or no sir yes so now we have seen that whenever our steam power input is changed which means 
output is changed active power output is changed in such a case is what happens is you also get even there you get over excitation as a different case normal excitation as a different case and under excitation as a different case anyways so now we have seen that in such a way we have seen that whenever alternator which is there it is connected to infinite bus we can either change its steam power input or change its excitation we have seen both the cases similar things we will try to do for synchronous motor in the next session so stay tuned for that thank you